Tonight, children and parents across the state of Kentucky are waiting for Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear to make his decision on a bill that would block transgender children from receiving gender affirming care, among other things. Hello, everybody. It's our top story on the night team. I'm Doug Prophet. Tonight we are hearing from one of the Republican supporters of the bill and WHS 11 night teams. Tom Lally talked with students and families tonight who say the state's decision will mean life or death. Students from DuPont Manual High School and No Middle say they are the ones impacted by SB 150, imposing stark restrictions on LGBTQIA plus people under the age of 18. It makes me feel scared to be who I am. If these bills go through, far too many seats at graduation ceremonies across the state will be filled not with our friends, but with their photographs. The movement comes after a fight on the House floor Thursday. I think you all know that I wouldn't be doing this on the floor and carrying this bill if I didn't believe in my heart it was the right thing to do. We know and we have seen the polls that most Kentuckians are against these anti-LGBTQ pieces of legislation. When it comes to this issue, polling doesn't matter to me because I believe it's the right thing to do. The people this bill governs disagree. We're going to be affected by the bills the most, and we want our future to be what we want our future to look like, a happy place. Instead, these sixth graders say the future written by this bill could be critical, especially for Chase Troy, who just began treatment. This clinic that I'm going to, they're actually recognizing me, and if they take that away from me, I don't know what I would do. We have to keep fighting. People's lives are on the line here. That message carried at this Central Park protest by students, teachers. I think it's an important thing to stand up and talk about. And even a reverend who tells me a member of her congregation asked her to come. If this is not your personal experience of being someone whose body doesn't fit what you understand to be yourself, it's hard to understand that. But I have gotten to know many trans people and universally, when they are able to express who they are as who they feel inside, the joy in their face tells all I need to know. A message of love and acceptance. She and these students hope the rest of Kentucky can come to know. In Louisville, Tom Lally, the WHAS 11 night team on your side. The bill is currently sitting on Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear's desk. If he does veto it, Republicans have supermajorities, as you know, in both the House and Senate and could vote to override the veto, making it law.